Hey there, this is Catherine, and I am going to create a card using these new mushroom and fern dies that I got from Hero Arts. Uh, they were just released. They had a gnome stamp set for the monthly kit, and this was an add-on, and I had to have them. I love ferns. I don't think I have any fern stamps or dies that I can recall. I've got some ginkgos. I love ginkgo trees. And, um, but I don't have any ferns, so I had to add this to my collection. Um, I'm going to start by, I have put some adhesive on the back of these, um, of this paper, and I've die cut these images, these three, uh, the fern. Oh, wait, let me show you my brushes. <laughs> I had to show them because they just make me so happy. Um, the colors are beautiful. They just sit on my desk and it makes me happy. So anyway, off topic. Um, but I am going to, I'm participating with this card in the blog named Hero Repeat Yourself Challenge. So the goal is to kind of repeat some sort of pattern. I'm going to try um, with using these little fronds, the ferns and the fronds. So um, I've already added the adhesive, so I'm just going to peel them off. I did put a little bit of ink on there kind of randomly. I didn't, it adds a little bit more interest and dimension. It's a quick way to kind of uh, jazz up a die cut um, if the color sometimes green to me can be kind of flat and so this is a good way to add a little bit more interest in your uh, die cuts so I'm going to peel these off and um, I'm layering in there I'm just kind of I'm not putting them exactly all at the same height I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit and um, filling most of my card with them but there is going to be still some white space left but, and I'll trim off the ends too. Um, obviously they're too long for the slimline card. They'd fit beautifully on an A2, but I'm just gonna trim the ends off and then um, they will be all squared away. This uh, adhesive that I'm using, Elizabeth Crafts, is very, very sticky. It comes on a roll and then I can just cut it to size. Uh, I love it because it is so sticky, but on these thinner die cuts, it's a little trickier to peel off. But I love it because it's so strong. It's one of my favorite um, adhesives, dry adhesives that I use. Okay, so I don't think my pattern is quite repeating exactly perfect, but I'm going to chalk that up to being organic. I should have added one more little uh, frond, but I love the way it looks. You're going to be seeing this set from me a lot because I'm going to work with the Hero Arts kit shortly and I cannot get enough of these ferns. So um, I'm going to, I've die cut an oval from just a little shape I had in my stash and I'm going to stamp thank you for being you. This is from an older Hero Art set. I think it at one time may have been a My Monthly Hero. I mean, I'm talking in the beginning. It's so old. Um, and so that's where that stamp came from. So you may, if you've been getting the kits for a while, you may have that stamp in your stash. But any any smaller stamp I think would do. Um, I don't want to put a huge die cut on here. I want to really let the ferns be the star of this card. So I'm going to add some foam adhesive on the back to pop this up. And I did stamp it in black, the Gina K Amalgam ink, because I did want it to stand out. But I did choose white to stamp it on, so hopefully it would kind of blend together. I'm going to add a few sequins um, on the top. I'm curious if any of you uh, struggle with sequin placement. Um, I, I always, it, I just kind of randomly put them on there and sometimes I think it looks good and sometimes it doesn't. Um, or it's too much or it's too little. Uh, but I don't tend to spend a lot of time. I probably should lay it out and do some more. <laughs> work on it, but um, I liked the way this turned out. I definitely wanted some clear sparkle on this somewhere, and uh, these little sequins worked out well. That little dish, little container over there, that's from Hobby Lobby. That's what I store a lot of my sequins in. I love them. They're very inexpensive, and I find them in my store. So that's it today. I hope you enjoyed this card. I've linked to the challenge if you're interested be sure to check it out and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.